Hello good people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting video for you guys today as always and with the transition to iOS 11 and the upgrade in iTunes to 12.7 a lot of features were removed. One of them was the ability to sync ringtones but fear not there is still a way to sync ringtones and that's what I'm going to show you guys today because this video is how to sync ringtones in iOS 11. So we're on our Mac right now but the process is going to be the exact same if you're using Windows. Uh, if you go into iTunes in 12.7, you'll notice that they removed the little tone section from the settings area where you would normally manage and sync and control your ringtones. Uh, you can still come down here into what's on my device and see the ringtones that are currently synced to your phone, but there's no way to come into here and to manage them, to uncheck them, recheck them, anything like that. Usually that's done in this little settings section, but you, as you can see, there's no place to do that anymore as they've removed that. So fortunately, there's still a way to import ringtones onto your device. Managing them, you can only do on the actual device. You can't sort of unmanage them or unsync them from iTunes. You sort of have to delete them off your phone, but you can at least sync them to your phone through iTunes. So I'm gonna show you guys that process right now. So in my downloads, I have a uh, little MP3. It's the Indiana Jones theme song, and it's actually five minutes long, so I'm just gonna quickly shorten this down to 30 seconds. And I'm going to use QuickTimer to do that. Now, obviously, if you were on a PC, you could use like Windows Movie Maker or something else like that. But I'm just going to shorten this down to about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to export this audio. Now, on a Mac, I don't know if it's going to be the same on a PC. It's kind of important what you export the file as because if you export the file as like untitled or something else and then you try to change it, whatever that original export is, is what it's going to appear as in iTunes and on your phone. So you always want to be just a little bit cautious what you name it when you're exporting it, at least on a Mac. I don't know if it holds the same on a PC. If you know if it does or doesn't, leave it in the comments down below. But once you have your 30 second file here on a Mac, it's an M4A file, but if it was an MP3 file, process can be the same. All you want to do is just change the extension from M4A, MP3 to whatever it was to M4R. That is the file format that iTunes uses for ringtones or that iOS uses for ringtones. And now if we go back into iTunes, we come down here to the tone section. We can actually drag this in and import it. So once it finishes syncing, I'll hop over to my phone and show you guys that it worked. So on the iPhone right now, and if we just go into settings and we go into sounds, we either go into ringtone, text tone, anything, there's Indiana Jones right there. So the syncing works. So even though there's no real way to manage ringtones in iTunes 12.7, there is still a way to sync them to your phone at least. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and take care.